Welcome to this painting tutorial. How's it going everyone? Welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to paint the Screamer of Sinch for either Warhammer 40k or Age of Sigmar. This is a fairly simple color scheme. We do get a little bit into blending, but I think that it's not that hard to paint these guys up very quickly and very effectively with the method that I'm going to show you here. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will start this video. I'm going to start by priming the model in black. It doesn't really matter which color you decide to prime these uh, models. You can use gray, white, whatever you want. Uh, the outcome is going to be pretty much the same. The first step is going to be to use Calador Sky and cover the whole miniature. I'm going to use a couple layers of this and I'm going to apply them fairly quickly and make sure to stretch the color very well. Uh, thin it down a little bit so it doesn't cover a huge amount of detail and just uh, go around the model and paint the whole thing. You can skip the uh, teeth if you want, but it's pretty much the whole of the body and don't miss any spots. If you want to paint different screamers, you can just change the colors and do it in different colors like screamer pink or any other color that you like. I'm going to shade this, the whole thing with Nolan Oil now. And this is uh, very important to get all of the details uh, shaded on the recesses so that we get those shadows and it's very easy because the areas are flat and very big uh, to over shade some parts make sure to, no to don't leave any huge uh, pools of this wash uh, on the model so that it doesn't uh, ruin it next with Ally, Ally Talk blue once it's dry I'm going to use this color to start cleaning up the larger segments of our areas around the screamer and this is just pretty much uh, picking all the open spaces and leaving uh, the shaded recesses uh, alone. But try to paint the rest of the model and trying to avoid those recesses. This color is a lot more muted or grayer than the Calador Sky that we use as a base. Um, it looks very good as a skin because you don't want any like primary colored skin uh, so that it doesn't look uh, all cartoony and, and weird and plastic key, I guess. Here I'm going to use Hoet Blue and I'm going to pick a big brush and dry brush the whole thing. Make sure to wipe off most of the paint of the brush and almost as if it did, didn't have any paint so that it can uh, faintly catch on all of the uh, detail of the model and make sure that the brush is uh, completely dry before you start uh, applying the paint because if it's, if it's even a little wet, it can make all of a streaking mess of lines that you don't want. Here I'm going to start wet blending with a little bit of uh, wet blending uh, medium, which is a uh, dry and retarder from uh, Vallejo. And I'm going to apply a little bit of the Hoet Blue, and then a little bit of the uh, Ally Tuck Blue, and then wipe it by wiping the brush clean, and then start uh, mixing, mixing the two colors together. You might want to repeat this process a couple times or maybe three times to make sure that the opacity is correct uh, because it won't cover as well the first time uh, unless you use very thick paint and you're very good and very fast blending but I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, just take your time, uh, let the first coat dry and then apply a second one. Also this method you can use it to blend the tail or any other area on the screamer that you would like to blend like this. When wet blending like this, uh, it's not really necessary to have very thin paint. Uh, almost straight out of the pot, it's fine, but it was, it's going to dry faster. So you have to move and blend the, the paint very fast. So um, you, if you can get the drying retarder that I showed you, uh, that's going to help you uh, keep the paint wet for longer. And because it's uh, like a gel consistency, it's going to um, keep most of the properties of the paint intact and give you a lot more time to paint. After that, I highlighted all of the places with Hoed Blue that are uh, upper parts on the screamer. And here I'm blending again, but with Blue Horror and Hoed Blue on the very tip of these uh, wings of the ray kind of creature to get that very high uh, contrast uh, highlight on the very edge. And with the same uh, blue horror, I'm going to paint the edges of the teeth and on the eyes 
as well. Every very sharp uh, place that you can find on the screamers, you can paint them with a sharp line of uh, blue horror, just to give them an extra highlight, like this. And once you're happy with all of your blends, uh, there's only one more thing to do, is going to use uh, the shade known oil. And this is going to be uh, used in the little details that maybe, maybe lost their shade because we used the blending and the dry brush. Just re-accentuate those places and redefine those uh, shadows real quick with a little bit of this uh, shade. Next, I'm going to use Rhinox Hide and we finished with the skin. I'm going to base coat all of the teeth with Rhinox Hide uh, really quickly. This is one of the most uh, fun parts to paint the teeth, but also the most time consuming. Uh, painting the skin is very fast and uh, I believe it's uh, very effective and very uh, fun to do. Uh, the Painting the, the teeth can be a little bit more um, meticulous and uh, time consuming. Once the teeth are base coated and dry, I'm going to use some Essie Desert. And with this I'm going to paint them and leave uh, little streaks of the rhinos hide towards the upper ends of the teeth and painting the whole thing. Uh, with this color and uh, the smaller the the teeth you don't really need to leave those streaks and like the smaller teeth that are in the body of the screamer don't need this treatment but the bigger ones do so you don't ha really have to be perfect just leave a little bit of this rhinox hide showing at the base of the teeth once that's done i'm going to use ushabti bone and I'm going to repeat the same thing, but this time leaving a little bit of the Samesi Desert showing uh, on top of the uh, other Rhinox hide behind it. And pretty much just painting the whole area uh, below that, but just uh, making sure to leave a little bit of both those two colors behind so that they show and they, uh, they show a little bit of a transition of color. Once that's done, we really have uh, very small details to finish this model, which is going to be the tongue with Screamer Pink. Uh, real quick, I'm going to base coat this area with this color. Once that's done, I'm going to use Tusker Fur to give it a highlight. And if you have, uh, if you can uh, blend these two colors, it's going to look very good. So I didn't wait for it to dry completely. I did it almost immediately after, so that it blend a little bit. Next, I'm going to use Averland Sunset, and with this I'm going to color all of the eyes on this model. Make sure to go all the way to the edge of the very corner of the eye, and then switch sides so that you can get the other corner, uh, because uh, the small detail brush will not reach exactly. Next, with Seraphim Sepia, once they are dry, I'm going to go ahead and shade them with this color. You can also use a darker color like Raclin Flesh Shade if you want, uh, but Seraphim Sepia works uh, very well, so that's what I'm using. Once that's done, I'm going to use uh, Flash Kits Yellow. Of course, wait for the wash to dry. And with this color, I'm going to color in most of the center part of the eye, leaving a little bit of the previous color on the edges and bring up that very uh, glowy yellow look on the eyes. Once that's done, the only left thing to do is to paint the pupil of the eyes and this is just done with a straight line of Rhinox Hide. Uh, use the finest detail brush that you have and just paint a straight line going down the eyes. These eyes look a little bit derpy uh, because you won't get them to completely agree where they're looking at. But at the end I think they look pretty good. And this is the finished model. I'm very happy with the way my screamers turned out. Uh, I don't think the video makes them justice uh, in this clip right here because you can barely see the transition of color from Blue Horror to Ally Tuck Blue or uh, to um, Kalador Sky. Uh, the blues look very deep and I'm very happy with the way they look and I think the way that I painted them is fairly easy 
and very uh, effective. So that's it. I recently started uh, collecting um, Cinch and nobody had any good tutorials on painting any of these creatures. So I'm very happy that I finished doing the Flamers, the Screamers and the Pink Horrors. I may move on to other Cinchian demons. But for now, this is going to be it. I will move on to painting other stuff. That said, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you find it entertaining and helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe uh, to see more videos. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for supporting my channel and if you would like to become a patron, there is a link to my Patreon page in the description below. Your contributions help pay for my work and keeps the channel going. A single dollar a month is more than enough and you can cancel at any time. If you can't, don't worry, you can support my channel by simply watching my videos and sharing them with your friends. Thank you for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.